Good morning all, camelbacktrading.org coming to you this Friday morning, April 22nd. We're looking at window traders market profile, SPY, IWM, and triple Qs after a very difficult day yesterday for the bulls. Right now, as you can see, a tremendous amount of consolidating going on, basically above and below the price probe. <clears throat> In um, ES and SPY, NQ, triple Q, now Russell did not price probe, but again, they're still in the same area. Bulls have a lot of work to do to take back what transpired yesterday. Remember, all three of these indices had outside day down where we took out the previous day's high but closed below the previous day's low. Both the S&P and NASDAQ have a chance for an outside week down as they both took out both sides of last week's range. And right now, where we're trading could possibly be an outside week down. <coughs> So it remains to be seen how much now bears really want to take control. Remember, all we did yesterday is put the market back into balance on the daily in the uh, S&P and the Russell. You can call the NASDAQ down right now on the daily. Pre-market high for us is 438.50. Pre-market low is 436.15. Now, we said we gave all the destinations for the downside last night's video. There is pretty much a price vacuum below yesterday's low. All right, we have one daily low, a nine wide pocket, and then nothing down to 424.80. We talked about this not too long ago when we were down at this level, that the bears had every opportunity to start really pushing this down towards the yearly low. <clears throat> they have not followed through. Remember, it is all algorithmic and short-term retail traders. There's been no real push by anybody out of the big boys, institutional-wise, whether they want to sell it or get involved on the buy side for the most part. So we'll see what transpires this morning. As far as the game plan, well, again, buyers have their work cut out, but the market is short. So we'll see if we get any kind of inventory adjustment early to take back the price probe, maybe take back one set of singles. We had a tremendous amount of singles yesterday. So... If we can't get back above L's low, or if we get back above that, take back, say, K single prints, but then fail and come right back out, again, I'm just going to be looking for shorts because value will be at best overlapping to lower, if not lower. If you start getting any acceptance, remember, we had a triple distribution day yesterday. If we get any acceptance into the middle distribution, well, then you should at least trade to the afternoon rally high and half back, and then we see what we get there. So it's going to be a fluent situation. Now, there's nothing really out this morning. At 9.45, there is a, a PMI out. But other than that, thank God the Fed speakers are done until uh, they meet on, I think it's May 4th. <clears throat> Again, the, the short-term traders just react to everything they say. It's just ridiculous. We know what's coming out. We know what's coming. So all they did was give up the gains after they heard what we knew was coming anyway. So again, <clears throat> below L's low, there's a price vacuum below us. And I should you should be looking for nothing but shorts with the lower value. Any acceptance into the middle distribution, then we'll see if we get some two-sided trade up there. That really goes for all three of these right now. I'll recap all of these tonight uh, after the close. And then on the chart... So right, last week's range, it was very small. We said there was the possibility of that. So if we close below 436.65, it would be an outside week down. We'll see if that's going to happen or not. Right now, it's a two-week balance. And on a daily, we're back into an eight-day balance. Yesterday's high is the top of it. <clears throat> the 18th low is the bottom of it at 435.61. Thanks for the likes and subscribing. Good luck trading, and we'll recap the day and the week at 4 p.m.